So what do you think of when I say Sweden? Yes, Sweden, Sweden. Mark's got to eat. So when I say Sweden, what do you think of? Icebergs, fjords. Say it with me. Fjords. Okay. Smorgasbords. Smorgasbords for sure. Mmm. Big smorgasbords. Just fun to say, even if you don't eat anything on it. Smorgasbord. What about woodworking? I think of definitely think of woodworking. They um, and Vikings. They were such good shipbuilders. They did low draft ships, boats, and they used all their carpentry skills and woodworking skills to do that. But because they were flat bottom boats, they could go way up in the rivers when they conquered new places like England. And then they'd throw axes at you and you'd say, okay, okay. Their designs are always great. They use a lot of uh, woods that are curved and bent and oiled. I mean, they know how to do cold weather and woodworking. And because of that, one of the biggest exports from there is where we're headed today, Ikea. Yes, land of a thousand designs. And dowels. And dowels. That's where we're headed. And guess what's there? Meatballs. Meatballs, Swedish meatballs. What's the song? I've been cheated by you since I don't know when. Ba, 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 da, ba, ba, da, ba, ba, da, ba. I do not know. It's ABBA. Actually, you're, you're going to have to sing it because I don't. Uh, you don't know Mamma Mia? No, I don't. You're playing. I'm not playing. I am not playing. I do not know Mamma Mia. Moment of silence. What's the berry flavor? Boy, Boykenberry or. <laughs> Elkenberry, Belgian berry. <laughs> it's not. It's not one that we normally have here. Is London it, berry. It's not London dairy or <laughs> berry. Uh, is it Bink and Boinkenberry? <laughs> it's definitely not Boinkenberry. What about uh, Goisen pimple? It's not Goisen pimple berry. <laughs> I don't think so. Hoity toity berry. We're gonna look at some furniture and check out some settings in the design area. Lingonberry. Lingonberry, Lingonberry. <laughs> Legionberry. Not Lingonberry. Legendary berry. It's, I think it's Ligon, Lingonberry. Lingon, Lingonberry. Lingon, Lingonberry, which, is there a Lingonberry bush? Is there a Lingonberry Tree? That I, doesn't exist here in the states. It's not in the states. No, mate, not in the states. I'm trying. You're parking over here. I'm trying for the big parking lot, the good parking lot. So we're here, IKEA. This is going to be fun. All right. Ooh, that was a fan right there. So here we are, and we have. The great smell of pastries. All right. Do, do. So is this every college kid's dream to have a small desk where they can think deep thoughts and do great things? Cool light. Yeah, I think I need to do some work on my laptop. There's no carriage return. Yeah, they waste no space in this store. Like when you're in your room, everything is utilized. It's really solid design principles. So this is 430 square feet, and they got it all laid out for you. So space is at a premium, but look at this. They just don't waste anything. They go right up the wall. Nice, clean design clock. You know what time it is. 
Yeah, you don't need numbers on here. That's why that's just a little after 12 and hmm. I love it. I'm going to ponder here. You got a little reading space. I mean, think about it. In an apartment, this is awesome. So in a studio apartment, there's your bed. Then you come over here, you can read. Here's where you go duty. It is. But I mean, really, on a space conscious budget, this is cool. Come over here and cook a little bit. You don't want to see what's in there. What's in there? Oh, you don't want to see it. I really do love this store. So this looks really uncomfortable. Let's see. And it is. For decorative purposes only. All right. This is cool, nesting tables. But these are bolted, <laughs> bolted down. So don't, don't, if you buy these, don't bolt them down. Here's the thing, I'm not a big window shopper, but this place stops me cold all the time. I can spend a lot of time in here because I'm just astounded at how they can do it for so little money. And it's good, oh, these, look at these, for instance. These are my all-time favorite chairs. They're comfortable, they're not expensive, and they have a little bounce in them. So they're not rocking chairs, but you can rock a little bit. And guess what? Here's a secret. They do family in Sweden. Check it out. What kid wouldn't enjoy that? Okay, I'm geeking out here. I love this store. You really do? I really do. They've got a guitar there. Want me to play it? No. Display all my... Oh, I'm going to play it. You know I'm going to no. play it. I'm going to play that one string guitar. It's only two ninety nine. dollars Here we go. Listen up. There you go. Oh, check this out. Look at this. So like, how do they blow the glass? I mean, that's pretty cool. This one has the frosting on it. And these are just like smoked gray. But I mean, my goodness, is that a cool look? I don't know what those are. What, I don't those know, are light bulbs. I don't know what they, I know what they are. I don't know what they cost. It's the desk section. I love this section. Ooh, got the spring. Ikea's got tons of stuff for kids, too. Now it's food time and low traffic today. So here we go. This is good. This is so good. I mean, that looks good. Oh, we should have gotten a tray, though. Uh, Hmm. What do you think here? Ooh. I think you're here for meatballs. Yeah, but the chicken wraps look good. Do you want one? We got veggie balls, plant balls. No meatballs. Sweet well, meatballs. Oh, there you go. That's what we got to get. So what are the choices here? It is ligonberry. It's it's ligonberry. So what is that? Is that like a quiche or? This is a 
potato medallion. Okay. Potatoes, uh, broccoli cheese, onion. Oh, bed. okay. Can I, can I do one of those with the meatballs? Is there? Okay. And then do I get like one more thing or two more sides? Two more sides. Okay. Mm. Well, let me ask you this: what 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 are the what are the two other sides I ought to get? You get mashed potatoes. Um, is, what um, is that? Cauliflower. You can get peas, and rice, or fried. I'll I'll do cauliflower and squash. Okay. That looks good. Would you like gravy? Oh yes, gravy. <laughs> huh? What kind of question is that? <laughs> would you get gravy? You know I, would. I know you would, and I would too. So we got the meatballs. This other stuff, though, you gotta. Like, that's cauliflower. I would never have guessed that. Looks like carrots and cauliflower, and then squash and zucchini, maybe? Anyway, and then I think that's potato cake or something. You know, I think she gave me an extra meatball. I ordered the eight plate, and I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, with gravy. Oh. oh, yeah. I know why these have been around for a while. They're so good. Mm. Let's see what the cauliflower is. You know, that's pretty good. The carrots. The carrots give it a little sweetness, so it's not just cauliflower in your face. That's good. Let's try the uh, squash. It's good the zucchini takes care of the squash. They're good for one another that way. Like Forrest comes in. Peas and carrots, peas and carrots. These are delicious. I'm a fan of the cauliflower and carrots. And it's still hot. The meatballs have cooled off a little bit. But this stuff, man, it's good. I imagine it's pretty healthy for you. Can't be that many calories in it. doesn't even taste like they put a lot of salt in it. Oops. <laughs> so the meatballs have a great consistency See if I can show that to you. Let's see if we can get in there. So there's not any big chunks or anything in there. It's, it's really blended together very nicely. The texture is great. Um, and the flavor is just a nice blend of regular old meatball. I don't think there's anything special about it. But it's really good. Good comfort food with the gravy. Mm. And we haven't tried our potato yet. Mm. Check that guy out. Let's give him a whirl. Wow. Potato and broccoli and maybe a little cheese. By the way, there's a terrible incident in the cheese uh, factory the other day. Gigantic explosion, debris went everywhere. This is so good. Mm. It's like a hash brown, but with broccoli, onion, and a little bit of cheese in there. Ooh. This is good. I'll tell you the other thing that's nice here. 
you sit by a window, you got a great view of the skyline of Atlanta. Downtown, it's wonderful. Nice place for a date, it's quiet. When it's not real busy, it's quiet. You can sit, talk, visit. A lot of fun, this is a good place. Probably a lot like a Costco or Sam's, you don't want to be there on a Saturday or a Sunday. This place is a zoo, I'm sure. Mm. Did you want to try this? You got a fork there somewhere. Mm. Isn't that good? Yeah. Mm. So I'm going to keep eating here in just a second. I'll finish this up and we'll go back on a casual stroll through the whole store. Just one last walk through to enjoy what they have to offer. Be no music, no talking, just a casual, quiet, easy stroll through the store. Mm. I hope you had fun hanging out with us here today. I had fun visiting with you. And if you like this, tell a friend, subscribe. We'll be back on Sundays at 7 with another episode. And remember this, life is short, so enjoy every meal. You still got one more meatball, right?